Hello, hello. Today is January 28th, 2023. Just in case you didn't know my name, my name is Nejma Ali. I realized that I hadn't been saying it in the past videos. I'm just assuming that everybody knows me for some reason. I don't know. And so the word of the day is perseverance. And when it comes to perseverance, there's like different philosophies out there. Some say that it's genetic and it has to do with your personality traits and your temperament. Others say that it has to do with your dopamine levels. And yet others will say that it has to do with your attitude, like your growth mindset attitude. And I feel like all of them have you know, something to play in all of that of like why some people are more perseverant than others. And so what I notice for me is things that are important to me, I find a way to make them happen. So I am a very determined and perseverant person. For example, like my mom had suffered from diabetes for like maybe eight years. And what I did was I tried to help her like with her medical issues and nothing was working, but I never gave up. I continued to search for solutions. And as of today, my mom is free from diabetes. She went to her doctor like a week ago or so, and they did blood tests. And her diabetes, after taking metformin for eight years, she is completely free from being a diabetic. And to me, that's miraculous, especially when she suffered like really bad. Her diet, her numbers were like 400 to 500. They were like ridiculous. And now they are normal. But it took a while for me to get her to that point. And we both had to grow in order for me to be available and for her to be receptive. Even though I tried to help her through like alternative medicine and different things that I suggested to her, nothing was working. And it was it was actually making her feel worse and I felt horrible. And so I just took my hands off of it. But because I persevered in believing that there was healing for her, today she's healed from diabetes. And what I want to say is having a growth mindset is a very important to persevering because in order to be successful at anything that you're wanting to accomplish, perseverance has to be in there. And it's not like, you know, you can't take a pit stop and stop and, but you always go back to your goal and what you're wanting to accomplish. Never give up. And I'm sure you've heard the saying, if you first try and don't succeed, try again. And I'm all about that because there's many things that I've had to persevere at in order to be where I'm at today and to be sitting in front of you. And I'm one of those people that like always believes that there's a solution and I'm going to find a way. And I always seem to find a way. And it doesn't bother me. Like it doesn't bother me to keep trying, although I'd like to be at the solution now, I realize that there's a process of growth that is occurring that can be occurring if I approach it from a growth mindset. So whatever you're going for in your life, always remember, keep going. There's going to be that person that you're going to find that's going to be inspirational to you, that is on the journey further than you, that can support you and help you reach your goals. And that's just like one story. Like I have many stories about perseverance and getting to where, where I want to be 
and having what I want to have. And maybe I'll share them at another time, but I don't want to bore you. You know what perseverance takes. And the bottom line is if you're not getting to where you want to go and be, there's work that needs to be done. You need to figure out what the work is because whatever you have in your heart, whatever you're being called to and whatever your desires are and what you want are meant for you. And you're the answer to opening that door. You're going to find your own solution and you will be directed and guided as long as you remain perseverant. If you quit, it's over. But if you keep going and believe and have faith in what you're calling into your life, it will happen. So that's all I have for today. I hope you're having an amazing day, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.